Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as I put in my video title, it's uh, Thursday, Saturday, Tuesday. Just kidding, it's Friday. But you know, all the days kind of blur together now, so it doesn't really matter, right? They're all just one big long day of the week. Uh, today's flavor is orange. Laura's the one that does really good at keeping the LaCroix stocked here for people to buy. And um, I'm gonna owe her big time when this is all over because every day that I'm in here, I'm drinking one and or my children. We have one of those here today. We might even see her. I don't think she's too keen to be in the video, so <laughs> we'll see. I feel like I have nothing to do while we talk because um, I left the mindless sock that I'm finishing up at home. It's uh, Jason's second sock of that cool green orange pair that I've been showing you guys and it's on the toe and um, I can't even sit here and work on it while we're talking because I left it at home. The sock I have with me is Mallory's sock which is patterned and it just requires a little more brain power. So hey Heidi, hi Patty, how are you doing? Patty, I have to say you are doing um, superheroes work, keeping your local yarn shops alive. Patty is doing her best to order, I, I, I hope it's okay that I say this, from every shop she can think of um, during this time right now, trying to give them support. And I just think it's wonderful. Um, I'm friends with Patty on Facebook and I get to see these posts when she puts the pictures up of the cool stuff that she's just received. And it's been some beautiful stuff too. So. Um, yeah, well done, Patty. Um, I just thought of something I could have brought to show you today, and I'll, I'll, maybe I'll have to save it for a Monday. But you guys, I got a corn skein. I ordered one. So what I, you know, Linda, Lucinda was on. She hopped on our video sometime this past week, and I said, everybody say hi to Lucinda. She owns Mount Trico in, in um, Canada. And I got my corn skein that I bought from her, and it's three beautiful skeins. Um, none of them things I carry in my shop, so it was absolutely delightful. Lucinda, I was just talking about you. Um, I totally forgot to bring my yarn with me down to the shop so I can show them. I'll have to show everybody on Monday because it was a lovely package and boy you guys, I forgot how fun it is to get yarn in the mail. Oh my gosh. I am so glad that I ordered that from Lucinda and um, so I'll, I'll, I'll put a pin in that and we'll talk about it again on Monday because she sent me the most beautiful three skeins. Um, none of them things that I carry and it's couldn't be more perfect. Hi, Erica. Hi, Sarah Mulholland. Thank you. Happy Friday to you, too. Um, it is, I'm sorry, Lucinda, if you're still watching. It's gorgeous and sunny here today. Um, in fact, it's a little hot in the shop because the morning sun's been pounding in the windows all day, and I don't have the AC on because what's the point? But um, it's a little warm in here. Lucinda got snow last night, like enough to make the whole world white. So I'm sorry, Lucinda. <laughs> Hello Jillian, hello Julia, hello Kim. Good to see all of you guys today. Um, I hope that you've had a lovely week and if you're not marking time at all, like I barely am, then I hope you had a lovely past couple of days. <laughs> hello Jackie Francois. Um, it's, uh, it's just such a weird thing, right? I mean, thank goodness my husband's paying attention to when the garbage has to go out because I don't know what day it is. Um, I barely know if it's a day that I can't take packages to the post office. I mean, my odds are pretty good. I got pretty much, you know, six out of seven days a week I can take them there. So, hello, Miss Cheryl. Um, so, hi, Jen. <laughs> You're legit today, not at work. Nice. Hi, Carrie. Is it nap time again, Carrie? Um, anyways, uh, yeah, we don't, aren't knowing what day it is. I managed to drag one of my kids down here though under the guise of bringing me something I forgot that I needed for my next video which is for the Afghan class and um, she stayed and she's working. It's like seeing a teenager in the wild. Um, should we go see what she's doing? What do you guys think? Let's see here. Um, there we go. Here we go. Now as we approach, we'll stay nice and quiet as we don't want to spook her and she doesn't want to be on camera. I mean, I think she's reluctantly okay with it. Right, Campbell? I don't know. Many of you haven't really got to see Campbell. Mallory's usually making appearances. Campbell is almost 17. She's going to be a senior next year. She loves musical theater and singing. She has an amazing voice. I doubt that we could get her convinced to sing on here, but you know. 
um, maybe someday, right? And she's doing the important work of stickering these giant two boxes of wool stock that we just got in and putting them away. Don't worry, Jill, there's still plenty for you to do. <laughs> She says hi. Jill says hi. <laughs> She's also sporting a Not Another Hat t-shirt. Show them. Show them what they've won, Vanna. So Campbell got here and she in, was in a sweatshirt and it was just way too hot. Um, and so she very quickly acquired uh, one of our t-shirts that's now going to be hers. Let me see if I'm back in. Okay, perfect. Uh, so hi, everybody. She could do a duet with it. Oh, we have someone else who has a son that's a singer, a child that's a singer. Yeah, she um, she has an amazing voice. We get to hear her sing all the time. Um, and, you know, maybe when she was like six or seven, because she did it then too, it was kind of annoying, but it's not annoying at all anymore because she just sings beautifully. So we're pretty lucky. It's going to be awful next year i mean after next year when she's gone and it's gonna the whole house is gonna be weirdly quiet um when she's gone to college so yeah anyway um so do you guys want to hear about what i'm wearing today this i did not knit so this is one of the lovely samples that Barocco has sent us over the year. This just came recently. They are one of the few companies that still send out models with their yarns. Um, if you order a certain amount of a yarn, then you might qualify for a free model, which it just doesn't happen that much anymore. So, um, so it, it's pretty cool. So this sweater came in. It is quite cute. I'm gonna stand up so I can better show you here. This is knit out of Barocco Cambria. It's a nice summer design and as you can see it's got an open lace panel in the back there. It's kind of a dolman shape a bit. It comes out here with like a drop sleeve and um, cropped. There we go. Very cute, huh? Um, let me get the tag they sent. This is um, Reese, Riss? R H Y S. That's the name of this pattern. Riss. R H Y S. And designed by Allison Green in Cambria. Um, I'm wearing the third size in which they say is a 44 and a half. And if that's true, um, it's not a. And then B. Maybe it was supposed to be, but the person who knit the sample didn't have gauge because um, my bust is like a 42 and then 41 42 and you can see this is not a 44 i mean it's not that generous additionally i do have large upper arms but um this is pretty snug on my arms i would call this much closer to the 41 and a half so they also maybe highlighted the wrong size on the tag they sent me um <clears throat> if it's much more like the 41 and a half so um in fact i'm just going to circle that one and say that that's what this is because um, I think they just made a mistake. So this took six skeins of Barocco Cambria and Barocco Cambria is a really cool, unique new blend. Here's a few skeins I pulled off the shelf. Um, it's alpaca and linen. So that's not something that you just really see all that much um, in the commercial yarn world or in, in a yarn world. 60% baby alpaca, 20% linen, 20% lyocell, and lyocell is like a rayon made out of linen. So. It's like a um, regular linen and then a uh, rayon type linen. So if you don't know what the difference between those is, um, when I say a rayon made of. So rayon is kind of a generic term for a bunch of um, cellulose viscose fibers that um, are made from different components. So one of the things you might be really familiar with is like um, tensile. Tensile is made out of wood pulp. And so um, it's still a rayon, but it's just called um, Tensile because it's, well, tensile is actually, um, I believe, a uh, uh, trademark term for a certain brand's wood pulp rayon fiber. Um, there's a, lyocell actually might be, uh, anyways, you can look up all of the different words for different things. So when you see like really soft, really luscious bamboo sheets, those aren't made just with regular old 100% bamboo they are made with bamboo that was reduced to a viscose and then and spun um and so it's a rayon bamboo so it's basically a it's a softer slinkier type of fiber basically they take plants like trees um linen etc and then they 
goop them down, they reduce them down into goop with some chemicals, and then um, they extrude that goop through micro, micro, tiny little holes in their machines, and those extrusions, that might be a made up word, long, thin, are long, thin fibers that then form, and then they can spin those and ply them, etc. So, very, very interesting. Um, it's a, it's, it makes plants like bamboo and linen um, much more user friendly because if you've ever actually used just like like the euro uh, no euro what is that linen that was everybody's linen they just went out of business the flax euro flax euro flax um, like that has a that's like linen when you think of crunchy a little rough on the hands but will wash and wear forever and ever and ever through an apocalypse that's how it would normally feel without the viscose rayon treatment so this makes um and bamboo is like that as well i don't know if any of you ever saw the original bamboo from southwest trading company that was out kind of in the um, mid 2000s but it um it was more like a linen feeling it was very very crisp slightly crunchy um not what we think of when we think of like bamboo bamboo sheets etc so um Kim asked if it felt like Luma. It does not feel like Luma. It's, um, it feels a little lighter, and I find it to be a little warmer than Luma. Alpaca is a pretty warm fiber because it's, it's hollow, so air gets trapped inside of the alpaca fibers, and that makes alpaca garments warmer. So um, personally, I feel like even though it's only 60% alpaca, it, this feels warmer to me than the uh, Luma, which is 50% wool. Um, cause I have a sweater, two sweaters out of Luma. I really love Luma, <laughs> but both are DK. So, um, so we have Cambria on our website and, um, Hey, FYI, since I'm talking about a Barocco yarn on our website, if there's any Barocco yarns that you like that, that we carry, um, we have unlimited quantity now of all of them because we're able to drop ship from Barocco straight to you. So all of the quantities on our Barocco yarns have been turned on to unlimited so that um, if you need six, but we only have two, it'll just look like you can order six and we'll just have it straight sent from Barocco. And they're shipping almost same day that we send in the drop ship order and they're shipping USPS, which is what we use. So the cost is completely comparable to when we have to send a package out. So amen for the vendors that are helping us out in this. Absolutely. Uh, Stonehenge is also doing that. It just, it just makes it so nice. Um, it is, very generous of them because they're allowed, I mean, we can order any quantity, so that's really cool. Um, you know, normally we order in bags and that's typically a bag of 10, sometimes a bag of five, and that that impacts how we're gonna order, right? Like I can't just off the cuff order, you know, a bag of 10 for someone that needs one, depending on the situation, but with this ability to drop ship, it's really fantastic. Hello, Miss Sandy Blue. Um, yeah, it's Heidi, any color they have. If I don't even, if I don't have the color on the website, but you know there's a color that they have, um, I can also get that for you. So thank you for bringing that up because that's true. Um, the colors we have um, usually are close to comprehensive, but not always. So if you see a color that you would like that you know is made by Barocco that we don't have on our website, just send me an email and um, I'll get it out to you. So, hey, so I, I have this um, Afghan square here for the next video that I'm going to do um, in a little bit. And so I thought maybe I would show you guys so you can see where we're doing it, where we're at with the Afghan club. I know some of you are in the Afghan club, but this maybe will make you jealous enough that you'll join it the next time because all of these squares are so cool. Um, Becca, thank you. There's information on this cardigan up in previous comments. Um, and as we discovered, last chat you can't always see all the comments unless you go up to the top and change the drop down to real time comments i think is the one that shows you all um or newest first yes one of those things uh, because i think facebook likes to default to showing you what they think you should see so here is the um square that everybody's going to be doing this month for the afghan isn't that beautiful this square is so unique. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I, there might be some Afghan people and I don't want them to be redundant, but it is not knit how you think it's knit. So um, super, really, super, super fun. Um, so yeah, you all should join the Afghan club next time it opens up. It's a good time. 
And boy, virtual classes have never been more um, on point, am I right? Um, yes, it is very lovely, very pretty. I'm using, um, for my sample squares that I've been knitting for everybody, I'm using the Brown Sheep Nature Spun Worsted because it's just a really good workhorse, non-super wash wool, and it's got a lot of yardage to 100 grams, which is 250 yards. And um, so it's really just nice. It's got great stitch definition. A lot of our people use that yarn. So um, so it's, it's great. It's, you know, people ask all the time about super wash for these Afghan projects. And if, you know, oh, I need it to be washable. And my answer to them is usually, are you really going to take this afghan that you spent almost two years making with 20 different squares all hand sewn together all the ends hand woven in and a border attached by sewing together and then put that into your wash machine are you really going to do that even if you have a super wash yarn because i don't think i have the balls to do that i think i would rather wash it in a bathtub <laughs> and deal with trying to get it to dry somehow then trust putting something that immense with that much work through my machine even on the gentle cycle so um i know some people have those really fancy european machines that have wool cycles maybe i would trust it in there but yeah i did make this once before i've made it in um i'm actually made it in a very tender yarn malabrigo uh, worsted, which is a single ply non super wash merino. So I've never even washed that one. Um, I did go after it with um, my hand, <laughs> my fingers, and picked off all of the pills. Took hours, uh, but it looks brand new. So um, that wasn't maybe the best choice for my first go round. It was very beautiful, is beautiful. Um, but boy, that's a pretty ginger combination for a afghan i mean it, it, it's on the back of my couch in my living room so it's survived this far um so anyway it was great to see all you all i hope you have a lovely weekend or next several days um who cares if it's the weekend right um and i'm hoping to get some more progress done on some older projects so um I don't have anything brand new exciting that I'm trying to finish up to show you. I just want to clear the deck of some of the old stuff. So um, I hope whatever you do this weekend that you get some downtime to enjoy some Think Fiber related, something yarn related. And I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.